Hey guys, it's Ross Scott and on the Space Coach Show we're going to be having a look at this. The Planet of the Apes annual from 1975. Picked this up from a charity shop in Bromley. The same one that I picked up the John Pertwee Doctor Who annual. So there you see on the back. I have to admit, got a real soft spot for the old uh, 60s, 70s uh, films and TV show. The more modern ones, I'm not so fussed about. But this is just a classic. There you go, you see three of them on the run. There's Galen in the middle. I forget the names of the astronauts. In the beginning. What was in the beginning? Yeah, and it's actually talking about the concept of the TV show rather than the actual Planet of the Apes itself. And there you see them hunting humans. The iconic scene, of course, referenced so many times in science fiction since then. So there you have the characters from the TV show. So obviously Roddy McDowell in the middle, James Norton uh, playing Peter Burke on the left and Ron Harper playing Alan Verdon on the right. And then, of course, there was him. I think that might be Galen's wife. Oh no, that's uh, Roger McDowell again. So, cartoon strip, Journey into Terror. Humans are now purple, apparently. <laughs> well, that's a good one. Of the main ape and the other characters. And apes are green. <laughs> Interest in colouring. More back to normal in later panels. There you go, there's some eight footage. What else have we got? Yeah, it was a really good fun TV show. And those um the series of films in the 70s were very good as well. I think it was the first one maybe 1968, I'm not certain. But yeah, the um, the Mark Wahlberg one and even the the recent trilogy, I mean, they were all right. I mean, obviously the Wahlberg one had just a daft ending, or it wasn't explained how Lincoln became um, Caesar. But I quite liked that first reboot one with James Franco in it. It was uh, it was all right, but I haven't seen the others, and it's like, nah, I'm not that fussed. But these ones, these are great. When the earth shakes, it's an earthquake. What's that there? A human transporter, I guess. Well, an ancient human artefact. Oh, looks like its weapons are still functional. And of course, it was always going to go over that cliff. You can't have a plane tottering on the edge of a cliff and not have it go over. <laughs> and so, of course, it explodes when it hits the ground. The scavengers. <laughs> How to make a monkey out of Roddy McDowell. <laughs> Still think these um, prosthetics are really good, to be honest. Swamped. Very intricate drawing. What else do we have? That's about it, actually. That's the last page. So yes, I shall enjoy going through this in more detail, reading all of that comic and some of the tech stuff as well. Um, and also the stuff that's uh, behind the scenes for the show. But yes, Planet of the Apes annual. Didn't know they did this. Certainly never had this as a child. Absolutely delighted to have picked it up. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.